Thank you. So before I start the session today, let me discuss about the topics what we are going to cover in Salesforce, okay? So the first topic what I'm going to discuss, the first module actually, the entire course contains Sure. Total, we have, you know, six modules. Okay. These six modules takes three months time, three to three and a half months time. And uh, that is from Monday to Saturday, you have sessions. Six days a week. No Saturday holidays, even Saturday also have session. Okay, Atifa? Yeah, got it. Yeah, don't expect the weekend uh, holiday. Saturday sure. also. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Monday to Saturday and uh, uh, six modules total I'm going to cover, out of which the first module is configuration. Mm -hmm. Second module is development. Third module is integration. Fourth module is administration. Fifth module, CR. Last module, lightning. So these are the six modules I'm going to cover in your syllabus. Okay? Okay. okay. So out of six modules, configuration, Administration, CRM. There is no programming, completely GUI. GUI stands for graphical user interface. It means that just a drag and drop, point and click only. You no need to write any coding, you no need to write any programming. Point clear? Yeah. Very easy to understand. Okay. So coming to development, integration, lightning, it's not related to coding. Coding means programming. Of course, programming is also very easy. Okay, you should not have any feeling that, okay, I came from altogether different background, can understand programming or not. No problem at all. I will make you masters in programming down the line three months of time. Okay, Atifa? Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. People also. Okay, uh, please treat me like your friend, okay? Please treat sure. me like your friend. I'm, your, I'm not your trained actually, okay? What yeah. are, Subject knowledge I have, here I'm mm -hmm. going to share with you. That's it. Point clear. Yeah. I'm just a mediator here. Okay. Don't feel that. Okay. I'm a trainer. Uh, you don't need to give any preference to me. Okay. Like your friend. Okay. Don't hesitate to ask the questions in the classroom. Clear. Okay. And yeah. every day I will provide the uh, running notes, materials. And recording sessions, if you, in case if you miss any class, you can listen the recording. Or in case if you do not understand any particular point while I'm explaining the classroom, you can listen the recording once again. You can understand the concept. Still, you do not understand the concept. You can ask the question in the next class. Okay. So, and also I will provide the uh, materials, interview questions. And especially the people who are living in other countries like Atifa, Okay, for you, certifications are very important. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So, like, you know, it been said, you need to write two exams and development said also you have two exams. Okay, yeah. certifications, assistance, um, like other, other kind of activities, if you want any assistance regarding this, I will provide myself. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Thank you so, for letting us. Yes. Um. That is why coming to programming, you no need to bother about the programming part. Okay. I will start from very scratch level. Means like, you know, what is language? What is program? What is instruction? What is syntax? What is operator? What is token? Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Something. Okay. Very scratch level I'm going to explain. That is why you do not feel any difficulty about the programming. Okay. The only thing I'm expecting from your side is you need to practice, okay, whenever you have free time. 
So most of the time you have to dedicate to the system only. That's what I'm expecting from the from your side. If you practice more, you'll get more subject knowledge. Okay, you can understand the easily. You can understand the subject very easily. Okay, just coming to the class and go away, no use. Point yeah. clear. So you have yes. to practice regularly. So every day I'll give you the assignments to you. You have to complete the assignments. You have to post your assignments in the WhatsApp group. Of course, very soon I'm going to create a WhatsApp group for your batch. Okay. So in that group, uh, you have to post your answers. Understand Atifa and Prati? Yeah, sure. Okay, fine. Uh, so these are the six modules. Out of six, three belongs to without coding and three comes under coding part. Development, integration, and lightning. All these three coding, configuration, admin, and CRM. These are all related to, you know, without coding part. And maybe some people got it out. Sir, after learning this particular six modules, okay, what kind of jobs I will get in the market? That is a primary question, yes or no? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yes, exactly. yes. So after learning the subject, you should expect something from the subject, yes or no? Something in the sense, job. Why you're learning the subject here? Why you're learning the technology? You're looking for the job on this technology, right? So what yes, the jobs you're getting after learning the subject, after, le after learning all the six modules, I can say. See, guys, there are two types of job profiles in Salesforce. Of course, in fact, five, not two, five. Okay, but out of five, the first job is admin job. Second one is developer job. Next, high-level jobs like sales source architect, SF architect, sales source consultant, sales source analyst, business analyst. So these are the three different job profiles. Of course, I can say it is high-level jobs. Uh, once you have near about five to seven years experience as a developer as an admin, then only you can move into this side. Point okay. Clear. But after completion of all the six modules, you will be eligible for applying for what? Either admin job or a developer job. Not for these two jobs. Okay. Because at this particular point of time, he cannot handle, okay, these type of ad advanced jobs. Minimum to minimum, he have, you should have five years real-time exposure as a developer and also what? As, a, as an admin. Understand Atifa and Priti? Yeah. 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 So, these two jobs you can eligible for, for applying for this. And admin job without coding again and developer job with coding developer job completely based on coding admin without coding so your wish suppose even though after completion of the syllabus you do not get the confidence as a developer first you can initially go for admin side once you got exposure as admin at least one year then you can move into our development side as a developer but as far as salary point of is concerned, developer getting more salary than admin, I can say at least minimum 15 to 20 percent uh, uh, salary variation is there between the uh, admin and developer job. Obviously, developer getting more salary than administrator. Understand everyone here? Good. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. <clears throat> so these are the job profiles you can see. After completion of the course, of course, at the end of the day, I'm going to provide, you know, running notes. One I'm going to provide running notes, material, soft copy. Recordings, class recordings. Okay. 
interview questions. <clears throat> If you want, I can provide the certification in terms. Understand everyone? Hello? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I will provide, yeah. if possible, I will provide the certification in terms because it is all depending on, you know, uh, one of my old student, uh, her name is Rana. She is not Indian. She is uh, basically German, but she is living in USA. <clears throat> So if I ask, if I ask her, she will provide the the latest, uh, you know, certification examination dumps. So I think one week back, I just asked her, she sent this. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So twenty second, she sent last month, twenty second, one week mm -hmm. back. Okay. So, so, is, so how uh, many questions? So uh, how many uh, questions will be there in the survey? PD one. Sorry, eighty one. Yeah, PD one. Platform developer one. Okay. Sixty questions. Okay. One of the exam. Everything okay. is multiple choice only. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So she is a German lady basically, but she is my old student. She is uh, living in. Yes. Okay. Fine. Okay. Fine. Uh, that is all I can provide from my side. These are all things. Running notes, materials. Okay. Class yeah, sure. questions. And finally, I will provide the project also. But the project, guys, I will give the project. I will explain the project you have to do on your own. Point clear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guide. But you have to start the project on your own. Okay. So these are the things I'm going to provide from my side. Okay. okay. Yeah. So coming to my, uh, uh, of course, I do not introduce myself. Myself is, uh, you know. I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> myself yeah. is Sanjan Prakash. Okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice. And my qualifications, MCA. And now I'm pursuing PhD. <clears throat> so I have 26 plus years experience in this IT field. But last 10 years, I'm into Salesforce. And currently, I'm working as a corporate trainer. I'm a freelancer and a corporate trainer. I'm a freelancer, I can say. I hope you know what is the meaning of freelancer, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a corporate freelancer here. I used to work with uh, CDS Cognizant. I used to work with Rapid Force Technologies. That is in Kolhapur, Maharashtra, Cognizant Hyderabad, Popcorn Maps. This company also located in Hyderabad. Hero FinCorp, Delhi. Arbus International, Noida, Prime Technologies, that is also in Delhi. For these companies, I'm working as a corporate trainer. Okay. Hello. Okay. And yeah, recently, got recently I went to uh, Bangalore. I given the training for uh, uh, ITC, Infotech student, Infotech employees. Okay. Okay. So I think that is in uh, uh, probably, yes, exactly two months back. Two months back, ITC, Infotech. Okay. 
So I was staying in Kamanhalli. You know Kamanhalli, Atifa? Uh, yeah, I know Kamanhalli. Yeah, yeah Kamanhalli. I was staying in Kamanhalli. I forgot the location because I'm not uh, completely aware of Bangalore city. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, nice. so these companies are working as a corporate timer, guys. Not only this one, I used to take the online sessions for US, UK, as I said before, Australia, Canada, Germany, and uh, what is this? Turkey. For these countries also, I'm taking the online sessions. So this is my overall experience. And coming to technologies, out of 26 years, I was into, you know, 1992, I joined, I, I started my career in software, 1992. From 99, a very, you know, very, very early stage of my life, very early stage of my life. Uh, I can say my, uh, my high school days, I can say, okay, I was into uh, software. So my first language is basic. The last language is Java. Okay, it's not last language, the current okay. language, Apex language. Okay, Apex. I was into Java. That is programming uh, uh, languages like, yeah. you know, Daisy, I know Cobol, I know Fortran, I know Pascal. Some of the names you don't know also. C. Yeah, of course. Yes. Uh, Java. Now, what is the latest language here? Apex language. So these are all programming languages, of course. And coming to databases, I start with DBase. I start with Fox Pro, then after Fox Pro, Visual Fox Pro, uh, I, you know, Oracle, SQL Server, PostgreSQL, MySQL, Teradata, so these are the database uh, products, okay. So see all these topics, okay. I have taken the sessions for the students. Point clear. Last twenty six years. Point clear. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So approximately, I given the training in my life of twenty six years. Approximately one lakh seventy five seventy five thousand students. Good. Okay. 1,75,000 students, yes. I think more, more than 1,75,000, not, not, not less than, definitely not less than, because uh, on an average, my classroom strength is uh, 350, 400 people. Highest class strength is 1,000 people. So this is my overall okay. career, guys. Okay. So yeah. last 10 years, I am into Salesforce. So this is my uh, background. I hope you understand. Yeah, nice yeah. to know all yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. Nice Thank to meet you. Thank you. So, uh, okay, uh, the the lady come came from Pune. I forgot your name, Preeti. Something. Yeah, Preeti. Ah, yeah. uh, Preeti. And may I know uh, uh, what is your academic qualification currently? What are you doing now? So basically, I'm uh, working in Atos Intel since three years. Yes. And we are currently working as a Salesforce administration. Oh, great. You have the knowledge on Salesforce already, right? Yeah. But okay. just I want to explore more. And I can't uh, uh, explore these things on Udemy and all that because I need a live classes and all that. So right. how far are you strong enough from Flow Builder? Uh-uh. So oh, no, oh. I, I didn't work on Flow Builder. Yet. So I, I just oh, working okay. as a Salesforce admin and plus support. So that's how many actions do you know in process builder? No, I, I actually it's more in, uh, in support, so that's why I didn't do that much. Content. Oh, yeah, you're, you're in support side, okay, fine. Yeah, most most support side, okay, fine, fine. Don't, don't bother, don't bother. Yeah. So, I make you master in admin side, okay? Yeah, fine. thank you. Fine. Uh, any other people in the class? What about the rest of the people? Uh, Pallavi not speak with me. Sanat Kumar, I hope you are my old Hi. student, right? Sanat Kumar, am I audible? Yes, sir, I am your old student. Yeah, I, I remember your name. Yes, your sir. Name is I mean. Yes. Uh, uh, Sanat Kumar, why you, why you drop it in the middle of the sessions? Uh, time is not uh, just short, sir. Evening batch, I will try. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Yes, 
ఫైన్ ఓకే సనత్ కుమార్ నో ప్రాబ్లం ఈవినింగ్ సెవెన్ ఓ క్లాక్ ఎయిట్ ఓ క్లాక్ సనత్ కెనడ i'm pursuing my masters in business and administration side mm-hmm. uh, yeah. i have 2 years of experience in dotnet and i want to shift into salesforce development oh. so yeah so that's the knowledge in c sharp programming language right yeah so apex language is also just like c sharp only pallavi you don't feel any difficulty while learning the apex language okay okay sir fine uh, which part of india you belongs to i belong to kamam uh, telangana Telangana Kamman district okay yeah so my mother is also came from Kamman only okay so near Kamma you know Badrachalam yeah yeah she belongs to Badrachalam okay mm-hmm. good thank you thank you Pallavi thanks for the introduction thank thanks you thanks you all thanks for the introduction all of you okay so let us start the session I hope all of you had a breakfast and all of you had your lunch sorry dinner yes Atifa and Pallavi had your dinner? <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> okay. And the people who are living in India had your breakfast, everyone? Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay, let us start the session. Uh, I start the session with my question, guys. So this is the question. See, I already told you, treat me like your friend. Okay? I want to keep on talk with you. You have to keep on talk with me. Don't sit idle. it's a live session point clear it's a live session i want to hear everyone's everyone's voice in the classroom okay guys if you do not interact with me you no need to attend the live sessions you can buy the any udemy recordings you can listen on your own right yes or no i don't i don't want that kind of environment clear mm, right. every moment right. you have to talk with me every moment i'm going to interact with you you have to ask the questions i have to give the answers i have to ask the questions you have to give the answers to me okay it's all one to one you know like this fine uh prati this is a question because you already have some knowledge on salesforce side let me ask a simple question prati what is salesforce mm-hmm. so salesforce is a basically crm tool uh CRM means uh, customer relationship management and so basically we can say uh, we can manage uh, sales service and uh, other uh, other uh, activities through salesforce mm-hmm. okay one more question i'm asking uh, uh, preeti prati what is mm-hmm. your name prati prati yeah, it's prati name but you can call me prati But yeah 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 uh yeah, um, <laughs> before join okay, okay. before joined the company did you learn sales was anywhere else uh no okay you just Actually, listen, I joined as a uh, java i on java base but when i joined company they put me on a java support but later on i got a project in salesforce and then i it was more uh, related to support so uh i learned some of the salesforce uh, modules and after that um like no how did you learn the salesforce modules, modules? through so on uh, trailhead through trailhead okay yeah. but you said that you bought some udemy recordings and all right yeah i i'm i'm having udemy uh, courses and all that but i learned actually i'm i'm busy with so as you tell it is a support work so that's why i need to sit all okay. the so while this is the recordings in udemy uh is the trainer has uh, explained about salesforce salesforce is a crm tool like that he, he explained no no I, i didn't get you no no while listen the udemy recordings he is your trainer no, actually i didn't go through that recordings it cause uh uh-huh. time and all that. okay fine so it's your assumption that salesforce is a crm tool right yeah fine but that is wrong answer prithi okay okay if anyone ask you what is salesforce 
you mm -hmm. have to tell Salesforce is a vendor company. What is that? It's a vendor company. Yeah, vendor companies can also be called as a product based companies. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me any one of you some uh, vendor company names in the world. Atifa, Pallavi, Sanatnagar, Sanat Kumar, sorry. Like sales, service, marketing, and. Uh... No, I'm asking about the company names, Atifa. Vendor company, vendor company. I'm asking. Yeah, product based companies. Yeah, Google, Microsoft. Infosys, Accenture. No, no, no. Right? No, no. I will, I will explain you the difference. Google, Microsoft, SAP, Oracle, IBM. Okay, IBM. Okay, one minute, one minute. Don't speak anyone. Okay, Accenture, Infosys, Microland, Capgemini. One minute, please. Guys, one minute, please. Sorry, guys. So Accenture, Accenture, Infosys, Capgemini, Tak Mahindra, okay, TCS, CTS. There are so many companies are there. What is the difference between these two? These both are companies only. But what is the difference between these two companies? I can say Google, Microsoft, SAP, Oracle, IBM. These are all vendor companies. Whereas Accenture, Infosys, these are all service-based companies. Understand, Atifa? So there are two types of companies in IT industry. How many types of companies? Two types of companies. One is vendor companies, and the other one is what? Service-based companies. Google, Microsoft, SAP, Oracle, IBM, these are all vendor companies. Vendor companies can also be called as product-based companies. And whereas Accenture, Infosys, Capgemini, these are all what? Service-based companies. Service-based companies can also be called as development companies. No, I think I got that here. What is yeah, I'm confused in this because uh, they will have uh, both service and the uh, how how it is like it is different. Yeah, that that is that is what I'm explaining now. What is the difference between these two companies? That is Atifa's doubt. Okay, what is my answer? Is vendor companies are those companies they develop their own software products like operating systems. They develop their own programming languages. They develop their own, uh, what do you call it, database products. They develop okay. their own packages. Mm -hmm. They develop their own applications. Yeah. So these okay. are all developed by vendor companies. For example, Google company developed mm -hmm. their own application. What is the application name? Like Salesforce. No, 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 no. Google company developed their own application called Gmail. Gmail. Google. Oh. Chrome. So using this Gmail application, what we can do? We can send and receive the emails, right? Yeah. Yeah. The so application developed by Google company. Same way, Microsoft company developed their own operating system. OS. OS stands for operating system. Mm -hmm. Which operating system Microsoft company developed? Windows that everybody knows, yes or no? 
Yeah. His Windows is an operating system which is developed by Microsoft mm -hmm. company. Like the yeah. SAP company developed their own programming language. Mm -hmm. Just like C, C++, Java. That language name is called ABAP. Is anyone here this programming language name? Yeah, ABAP. ABAP, ABAP. SAP, right? Yeah. Yes. Advanced Business Application. HANA, ABAP, all our applications, right? Yes. Advanced, yeah, SAP is a ERP. Okay. It contains so many modules. Out of so many modules, one of the module programming language name is called ABAP. Yeah. But... Advanced Business Application Programming. It is just like, you know, Java language. Okay. So Java is also a programming language, right? Just like Java, SAP yeah. company developed their own programming language called what? ABAP. ABAP. What is ABAP stands for Advanced Business Application Programming. Okay. Like that Oracle company developed their own database product. So what is a database product developed by Oracle company? Anyone knows? Oracle only. Why? Because in case of Oracle, company name, product name, both are same. Mm -hmm. Point here, Atifa, uh, Pallavi, yeah. and the rest of all the people, Prati, mm -hmm. Sam Kumar, everyone. Oh. In case of Oracle, company name, product name, both are same. But in case of SAP, company name is SAP, product name is what? ABAP. Okay. In case of Microsoft, company name is Microsoft, product name is Windows. Mm -hmm. In case of Google, company name is Google, product name is what? Gmail. Mm -hmm. But in case of Oracle, company name and the product name both are same. Mm -hmm. Am I clear? Yep. Like yeah. IBM company also, they have its own database product. What is the database product name? DB2. DB2 stands for database 2. So company name is D IBM, product name is DB2. So vendor companies are those companies develops their own software products like operating systems, programming languages, databases, packages, applications, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So these are all developed by vendor companies. And service-based companies like Accenture, Infosys, Capgemini, these are all what? Development companies or service-based companies. What they are developing? These companies are developing software applications as per the requirement of whom? Clients. Very good, very good. What is this? Clients. Understand Atifa here? Service-based companies yeah. are developing software applications as mm -hmm. per the requirement of the clients. So okay. the between vendor companies and service-based companies are, mm -hmm. vendor companies are those companies, they develop their own products, software products. Okay. Using mm -hmm. these products like operating systems, programming languages, development companies like Accenture, Infosys, Capgemini, they develop the applications as per the requirement of the clients. Clients. Who mm -hmm. are the clients here? Clients are nothing but business people. Understand? Yes. Clients are nothing okay. but business people. Okay. Some people doing banking business, some people doing insurance business, and some of them doing, you know, hotel business, some of them doing hospital business, some of them oh, doing yeah. education business, some of them belongs to telecom industries, some of them belongs to automobile. We have plenty of different kinds of businesses are there in the market. Yes or no? Come on. Yes. Okay. Yes. Suppose uh, Prati working in so and so company. If I am asking Prati, and who is your client? So Prati, it's an automobile answer? company uh, called Stellantis. Very good. Spell it out, please. Uh, S T. -E. Okay. L L. L L. L L. Double L. Ah. Uh. N T I S. Okay, Stellantis. It's an automobile company, which is located yeah. in which country? Oh, I guess uh, US. US, very good. So I just asked uh, Prati, who is your mm -hmm. client? She did not tell my client is automobile, right? Yeah, it's a student. She told what? My client is Stellantis. Stellant, yeah. Stellantis is the company which are, they are doing which business? So they are basically uh, 
selling the vehicles yeah that is automobile business sir sir yes no yeah yeah point clear so should not say banking insurance hotel hospital these are not clients guys mm -hmm. these are the business domains point clear yeah okay Or these are the business yeah. vehicles i can say business domains are different clients are different so clients are belongs to particular business domain so is someone asking who is your client you should not your client is bank you should not your my client is hotel you should not tell my client is hospital suppose adifa working on bank of america let us assume like this okay she is dealing bank of america project if i am asking who is your client adifa should not tell i am a bank, uh, my client is bank you have to tell my who is my client bank of india bank of america okay. point clear so bank of america is the client and whereas banking insurance these are all what yes sir business domains or business verticals is nothing but different kinds of businesses are there in the market okay okay tell yeah. me who are belongs to bank banking industry as far as india is concerned icica hdfc okay like state bank of india like this coming to usa bank of america barclays okay cheese city bank yeah yes or no yeah cheese hsbc hsbc these are all yeah. international banks am i correct or not you yeah. yes okay so these are the clients which are belongs to banking industry coming to insurance tell me some company names in india LLC, LLC, Tata Age, ICICI, ICICI Prudential, ICICI Lombard, ICICI Prudential. These are all comes under what? Hotel. Insurance. Insurance. Hotels. ITC. Very good. ITC Kakatiya. Okay. Ramada. Hotels. Okay. Novotel Hotels. okay these are all oh, company right. hotels hospitals malaya manipal apollo apollo manipal all indian institute of medical sciences mm. delhi okay care hospitals kims hospitals there are so many mm. hospitals are there next education schools colleges universities yeah, jntu okay in pune symbiosis yes or no prati yeah yeah symbiosis and uh, in us stanford oxford yes or no yeah and one of my student who belongs to university of uh, university of data something is there let me check university of data i hope so one minute satya who belongs to australia usa mm -hmm. uh, berkeley university of data now let me university of data ah uh, university of data right Know, yes, you need to have data only. Data, okay. You need to have data, okay. Is my uh, US student instead of data and telecom. Vodafone. Zio, Vodafone Idea, Airtel, okay, BSNL. Yes, sir. yeah automobile so many companies are there okay lancer bmw audi bench hmm? so many companies are these are all comes under what automobile industry so i can say these people can be called as clients and these are the business domains so 
I'm going to recap all the points once again. Vendor companies are those companies, they develop their own software products, like operating systems, programming languages, and all. Using these products, development companies like Infosys, Accenture, and all, developing software applications as per the requirement of the clients. And clients are the business people, and these people are using software applications in, the, yep. in their business, in their business. Point here, they are using software applications in their business. Why they are using software applications in their business? What is the advantage that I will discuss in tomorrow class? Point clear? Yeah. Hello. What yes, are sir. the advantages of using software applications in the business that I will discuss in tomorrow's session? Okay. Mm -hmm. But last maybe 20 minutes of time, I just discussed about only one point. What is that point here is, in total IT industry, in total IT industry or software industry, I can say, okay, we have three important or three key players. How many key players in IT industry? Three important persons. Who is the first person? Tell me. Come on. Vendor companies. Second one. Service-based Client. And third one is client. Clients. Okay. Vendor mm -hmm. companies. Vendor companies develops their own software products. Using these products, service-based companies are developing software applications as per the requirement of the clients. And clients are using, come on, software applications in their business. Point clear? Yeah. So that is the relation between all the three people. The complete game is rotating between all the three people in IT industry. Okay. So vendor companies are developing software products. Using these products, service-based companies are developing software applications as per the requirement of the clients. And clients are the people are using software applications in their business. Okay, that is the relation between all the three people. That is how the whole game is rotating. Understand Prati, okay. Atifa, Pallavi, and Sanath? Yes, sir. Everyone in the class? Yeah. Okay, any doubts? So basically, uh, this uh, Salesforce is a uh, product-based company, right? Yeah, now I'm coming to the point. So like Google, Microsoft, SAP, Oracle, IBM, Salesforce is also a vendor company. Salesforce is also a vendor company. Like Microsoft. This company started in 1999. San Francisco, California, USA. The company CEO, Mark Benioff. And this company runs on the concept name is called, this company runs on the concept name is called, you know? No computing, yeah. So tomorrow's session, I will discuss about what is cloud computing? And before that, first of all, I need to discuss about what are the advantages of using software applications? Why the business people are using software applications in their business? And what are the difficulties? And how those difficulties we can overcome through cloud computing? These are the points I'm going to discuss in tomorrow's session. Sure. Am I clear, everyone? Yeah. So yes. yeah, today's class is very simple. Today's class, I'm not discussing any much important points. I just discussed about who are the important persons in IT industry. That's it. This is the only point we did, did we discuss today. Understand Atifa, Priti, Priti yeah. and all. Okay. Yeah. So who are the important persons? Vendor companies, service-based companies. And, and clients. Companies. Vendor companies are developing software products. Using these products, service-based companies are using software applications as per the requirement of the clients. And clients are using software applications in their business. So these are the three important persons in IT industry. Am I clear this part of the explanation? Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Pallavi, Prati, Sanat. Yes, everyone. sir. 
Yes. So that's all about the today's class. I'll catch you tomorrow same time at 9 o'clock. I will continue tomorrow. What are the advantages of using software applications? What are the difficulties? And how those difficulties we can overcome by using cloud computing? So these are the points I will discuss in tomorrow's session. So regarding today's class, if anyone have any doubts, you can ask the questions, please. Prati, Matifa, Pallavi. No. Um, what, what are the topics in admin now and the in development and all you're going to complete? That, that I'm going to discuss in future classes. All right. Okay. Okay. That I'm going to discuss in future classes. See, if you want, you are so curious about this, I will explain you. What is this? Uh, roles and responsibilities of system admin. Uh, screen is not visible. Oh, sorry. No, it's visible. It's visible for us. Oh, but for me, it is not. Yeah, now I can see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you see this? Yeah, roles and responsibilities of system admin. Yeah, creating the user accounts, creating the roles, creating the profiles, granting the privileges, revoke back the privileges, data management operations, import export, data import wizard, data loader, automations, workflows, process builder, flow builder, approval process. Mm -hmm. Okay, data analysis, reportion dashboards. Coming to data security, org level, app level, tab level, object level, field level, record level. And record level, we have something called OWDs. I hope, Prati, you understand all this technology, right? Yeah. So these are the topics we'll discuss in admin part. Okay. And coming to development part, coming to development part, Mm -hmm. See, how to create the apps, tabs, as object fields, relationships, and coming to development, whoops, except handling, assertions, annotations, database concepts, SOCWELL, SOCEL, DML commands, collections, list, set, map, controllers, interfaces, batch effects, schedule effects, triggers, mm -hmm. visual force, integration part, SOAP API, REST API, bulk API, all these topics we will discuss in with development. Oh. Okay. Okay, Atifa? Sure. Thank you. And thank you for the explanation. Yeah. So anyway, we will discuss all the points in succeeding classes. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So, so, sir, CPQ velocity comes under developer part. Uh, CPQ velocity, that is yeah. somewhat advanced level, uh, Sanat Kumar. Not all yeah. organizations asking about the velocity, not all organizations are asking about the CPQ. CPQ is somewhat related to CRM. Okay. Oh. Okay. That, yeah, you said five job profiles. It comes under developer or a consultant? Out of five, one is admin, the other one is developer. The rest of three is advanced, uh, means uh, experienced jobs, that is uh, architect, consultant, and uh, business. I mean, CPQ and Velocity comes under Salesforce consultant jobs. They saw consultant jobs, probably. Because, oh. uh, because I, I, I'm not working on CPQ and Velocity. So because CPU Velocity related to CRM, somewhat, you know, consultant related thing. So I'm so purely guess, talking about technical points. Somewhat. I guess it is a, there is also CPQ developer roles are there. Maybe CPQ side is all, maybe develop. That's what I'm telling because I'm not completely aware of CPQ. Why yeah. I do not concentrate on CPQ is uh, if you want to learn, if you want to explain CPQ to students, first of all, mm -hmm. I need to buy some server, CPQ server. Yeah. I think it's very cost effective. That is why mm -hmm. I left it. But mm, don't think that every every company asking CPQ, every company asking yeah. what? Will ask. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Some of the companies asking, some of the companies may not ask. Yes. But these are the basic jobs. A developer job and admin job is basic jobs. Yes. Okay.
Atifa, yeah. don't confuse regarding see what what is CPQ. Can I understand CPQ or not? Atifa, please remove all these points. Okay. Sure, sure. Yeah, <laughs> got it. So keep keeps uh, sorry. Fresh your fresh. Uh, please fresh your mind. Sit in the mm -hmm. classroom. Okay. Don't sure, listen. Sure, sure. Yeah. Paper. So oh, I don't want it. to unnecessarily because altogether it came from different background. Oh yeah, I understand. Anand Kumar, if you ask this kind of question, the other, the other people can cannot understand. Okay. Okay, okay, sir. If okay, you have sir. any doubts, you can directly call me. Okay, sir. Okay. 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 Lots of topics. Fine. Okay, sir. Okay. Fine, guys. That's all about today's session. I hope all of you enjoy the class today. I'll catch mm -hmm. you tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Thank you, and wish you the same. And I'll yeah. catch you tomorrow, same time at nine o'clock. Yeah. So I hope all of you understand the class, right? Yes. Pallavi, you are so silent. No, sir. Yeah, you're I understood. You are playing, playing spectator role in the class. Actually, <laughs> my laptop is not working. Like uh, I can't able to hear from my laptop. I'm using phone also, so can't able to access both and reply you yeah that is why uh your name is repeated twice in the in the, yeah. log, in the list yeah. of names. after logging i have checked uh, that my laptop is not working after... uh -huh. fine understand the problem yes. today's class yeah yeah i'm clear sir. thank you so thank you all have a nice day take care all of you come on tomorrow same time at nine o'clock thank you thank you thank you all bye good night